Hey guys, it's Nick with the Bass Hookup. We're out here on a perfect looking day and there's been guys catching some giant fish as you can see right here. And uh, we're out here, we gotta chase these giant fish while they're biting before it gets too cold. It's, it's November, the feed should be on. We just went out the other day, didn't film, caught a ton of fish, not at this lake, but just coming out to this lake, it looks too good today. We had to come fishing, I got my dad with me and I'm gonna throw a bunch of big baits and we'll see how we do and try to catch a double digit. That's the goal. All right, still early. I'm gonna start out with the old Lunker Punker. Haven't thrown this thing in years. Oh, got one on the, it was just sitting there. Big one too. What the heck? Oh my gosh. On the Lunker Punker. <laughs> Just sitting there. Not even moving it, huh? Not even moving. Look at that. Nice one. Came up and ate it. Well, nice one. there you go. First cast. First cast. We're gonna find out if that's bad luck. But he ate that. Lunker punker. And that fish must have seen it land and zoomed over there and just wanted it. It's hungry. I will take it. Man, that's that's crazy. There are usually a lot of fish in this cove over here too. I always see them cruising. There we go, nice bass. Nice healthy one. Let's see if we get another one here. That's one thing about these big baits is you could blast them out there and get them way out away from your boat or whatever or the shore. And I think that plays a big part in getting more bites because the fish don't know you're here, especially in like clear little pressured lakes like this one. Oh, nice one. Top spin. Just burning it right no, on, the, it it on the fall. Oh, on the fall? It's shallow, it's really, too. Really slow. Dang, it swallowed it. Got one on the top spin. Top spin fish. First cast for the top spin. <laughs> Choked it, too. Nice one. out here one time and threw a lunker punker in the summer he said he had 50 pounds for his best prize oh oh, oh. God. oh. <laughs> what the heck right when i'm talking about it there he goes man i caught five ten pounders on that thing he said same thing he bombing it off the bank just letting it sit there i don't want to eat it though Enough. You know what it did? 
I threw it. It must have landed in a couple weeds. Yeah. Then it released and it popped. It went. It went oh, through. Got one. Got one. Yeah. Is that a good one? Yep, it's a good one. Oh yeah. It's been sideways. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even that big. I mean, he's decent. Another one on the punker, finally. What's happening is uh, they're coming up and swirling on. I've had some big boils. They're just not committing to it, but this one, you can see, hooked on the side. Didn't really want to eat it. He's just trying to come up there and kill it, but got him number two on that one. So two on the punker, one on the top spin. But we're trying to get that double digit. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, oh there you oh they're a good one. Oh no. oh oh man when you set the hook you, like you stopped it. It's not bad. Not bad. Bad one on a top spin. Top spin, choke. Top spin. <laughs> Size Kitek do you have? 3.3? 3.3. Yeah. 3.3 is like the perfect size for most of the top spin. Oh, you got the 3.8? Oh, there you go. Little guy. Little tiny. Got oh, bigger. no. Got bigger. <laughs> He's swimming at you. Oh, well, that's a good one. That. Another, oh, here. Another top spin fish. Little one, but another one on the top spin. Just letting it go all the way to the bottom. Yeah. And uh, swimming it slow, bouncing bottom. Oh, I got one. I got one out deep on the big top spin. It's a three quarter ounce. Wow. It's actually a new, this is the, gonna, this is gonna be the HD top spin. Right here, got that uh, recessed line tie in there. And I'm throwing this, my dad's got a 3.3 Kitek on, I'm throwing a, this is a 4.3, 4.8. Might be the 4.8. Nice little fish out deep. Yeah, see how big? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, with the heavier top spin, actually, this is going to be the HD top spin. It's not out yet. Just a prototype. Uh, got the line tie in there. Um, good keeper. You can throw a bigger swim bait on it. And this one's got a, it's a heavy duty must add swim jig hook a little bit bigger blade and I could get it down there and I'm throwing it way out just out in the middle of I don't know what's out there I don't have a graph and just I could still swim it pretty quick right along bottom and that fish ate it I think I'm gonna catch some more on it too tiny bit Nice one. Choked it too. Ha ha. Bigger top spin. They want the bigger heavy thing heavy. Nice one right there. Again, ate the HD top spin. Now that's fun, just letting it go out there and probably maybe 15 foot of water. Just slow reeling it, dragging bottom, and as soon as it hit bottom, I pulled it out of a weed or something. That fish just ate it. And I'm throwing on a way too light of a rod. I could barely even feel the bite. And 15 pound mono. I should have a better setup for this, but 
whatever, still catching them. See if we get another one. So the fish right now in this lake and all the lakes pretty much in the fall, the fish are gonna move out, the water level is down. So the fish are moving out with that water level and uh, they're gonna pull to the back of these drains and like where you have spawning pockets, they're probably just out a little further out in the deeper water. If you can find a creek channel, that's ideal, but just, you know, these points like this with steeper bank next to a flat bank where the fish could pull off and get in that little bit deeper water and feed on bait. That's where you wanna look for them right now. Got one. Oh, got one got deep, one. big one, big one. There you go, on the jig, down deep. Probably like 30 feet deep. Oh, he's not that big. So good one. Yeah, he was down there deep. He's one of the smaller, no, that's still a good fish, but yeah. Down there, down there deep. Nice. Popped it? Yeah. Caught, caught that on the Blanchard Special. On the Blanchard Cheater Jig. Oh, got one. Got one on the Carolina rig. Big brush hog way out here. Little one too. Look at that. Look at that little guy. Way out deep out here off this dam. Nothing really down there. That little fish, he's kind of white. But the Carolina rig brush hog usually always gets bit no matter where you're going. I'm surprised it took that long. Yeah. Let's Hard to tell on your rod though. <laughs> it's hard to tell every time. You... Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. At least two and a half. Came back or eat different fish. Cool of them out there. Yeah, it's a good fish. It's a good one. Just want that little. Want the top spin. Want that little swim bait. Yeah. Thin fish. <laughs> yeah, there could be more. There's usually a lot of fish swimming around right out here. I know they, I know they get, are all out in here. You do have one. <laughs> on Top spin. Yeah. I should just keep throwing that. Put it on the fall. Little guy. All right, guys, that's it. No double digit, but caught some punker fish, caught topspin fish, caught 
Carolina rig, jig fish. So it was a fun day. Just getting out here for a few hours and trying to get some fish. We'll see you next time.